Hello everybody, welcome to the first video of Vlognica 2022. Happy Hanukkah everyone. If you are new here, I make eight videos for the eight days slash nights of Hanukkah and it's called Vlognica and it's the lazy Jewish version of Vlogmas. So welcome. I am not going to be making 24 slash 25 daily videos. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We are kicking things off strong and chaotic this Vlognica and actually making some of these videos Hanukkah and being Jewish related. And today <laughs> that involves tier ranking different oils. Now, if you're not Jewish, you might be really confused right now, but basically Hanukkah is the festival of light. And essentially in Jewish synagogues, there is an everlasting light that is supposed to be on all of the time. Obviously now with electricity, that's really easy. Back in the day, this was an oil burning candle light thing. The temple got destroyed. There was only enough oil to last for like one more day. People went off in search of more oil. A miracle happened and the oil lasted for eight days and eight nights. And so that is why we celebrate Hanukkah. And because of the oil lasting eight days, eight nights, we eat a lot of oily food at Hanukkah. So I thought it would be fun to do a tier ranking of lots of different kinds of oils. Some of these we have at Hanukkah, some we don't. And yeah, that's, that's literally the video. That is, that is what you are choosing to watch right now if you choose to stick around. Before we dive in to actually ranking all of these oils, obviously this is a very important video. <laughs> Let's take you through our Hanukkah related tiers. Up top we have the Maccabees. The Maccabees are led by Judah Maccabee. It's him and his comrades. Yeah, they fuck shit up and they're great. The good guys. Next up is the tiny jug. Now this is the tiny jug that held the miraculous oil that lasted for eight days and eight nights. Obviously that has to be up there because it is the vessel in which this miraculous oil was contained. Next up is latkes and donuts. So I mentioned that we like to cook a lot of food in oil around Hanukkah and this is that. Donuts, you probably know donuts. Latkes are essentially like Jewish hash browns. They are potato cakes, fried in a lot, a lot of oil and they are delicious. This category is just meant to like represent the food at Hanukkah, but because it is so oily, you wouldn't eat this all year round. It is very much special occasion, which is why it's like our third top one and not like top, top, top. Next up also in the food area is chocolate money. Now I used to, call chocolate money Hanukkah gelt. I mean, I still do, but I essentially only knew of chocolate money as Hanukkah gelt. And my little Jewish brain got very confused one day at school when I saw a non-Jew friend of mine with Hanukkah gelt. And I was like, oh, hey, you have Hanukkah gelt. And they were like, what, what's that? This is chocolate money. And then I realized that not everything revolves around Hanukkah at this time of year. Apparently Christmas is also a thing and the Christian and atheist children, they also get chocolate money. What's that about? I thought it was a special Jew thing. Alas, it is not. But chocolate is still great, but you know, it's pretty generic chocolate. It's not like the most precious or exciting or tasty chocolate. I mean, it's still good, but hey, it's there. I would spend money on it. Then we have dreidel, We're kind of like near the bottom. You might be thinking, Hannah, why is dreidel near the bottom? Like dreidel's so much fun. Yes, but you never know what you're gonna get. And it's a very stressful game sometimes, especially if you're playing with your competitive family members. And also there is no skill to the game of dreidel. It is entirely luck. And if you are like me, you like games where skill <laughs> is involved. So you can be like, aha, I won because I am excellent and not because just the dreidel happened to fall that way. So that is why dreidel is near the bottom. Definitely just have memories of having a good time playing dreidel, but also a very like stressful <laughs> time playing dreidel. And isn't that what family gatherings are all about? And then right down at the bottom, we have King Antiochus. Now he is the big bad in our Hanukkah story. He just sucks big time. Not a great guy, not good. We don't like him, zero out of 10. With that all being said, let's start to rank some of these oils. 
Disclaimer, I have not tried all of these oils. I only learned about some of them recently. So <laughs> we're just gonna go off like vibe and what I assume they're like or have recently learned about them. That's, <laughs> that's the vibe we're going for here. So let us begin. These are in a completely random order. So we're just gonna like go from the beginning and work our way through. And first up, we have some body oil. Other brands are available, but this is the one that I had when I was prego. My mum got me this for Christmas slash Hanukkah last year. <laughs> Where would I put this? I loved rubbing it on my belly during pregnancy. I love rubbing oil on my belly now, like especially like on my C-section scar. I did a lot of like bio oil rubbing on my scars after my surgeries as well. So I'm like, I'm a big fan of this kind of oil. It's not really a miracle worker though. And it's not for me all of the time. It's like out of necessity. So we're going lacquers and donuts because it's like not an all year round thing. It's like when needed. Right, next up, <laughs> those essential oils. I actually really like essential oils, shock horror, but not, I'm not like into them, if that makes sense. I have a diffuser at home and every so often we put it on at night to help clear our sinuses, because as you can tell, I'm a bit bugged up. Because I have a child that goes to childcare, so we're just a germ factory at the moment. I am gonna put this in like chocolate money, because I'm like, eh, yeah, I'll spend my money on them, but I don't know a lot about them. I like the ones that like really like, you know, those ones. Just like stick that in the diffuser overnight, a few drops on your pillow, good to go. But all of the other stuff about like what different scents do for you and mean, and all, I, I have no idea. No idea. Next up, <laughs> petrol. Petrol is just going straight into King Antiochus because it really is the big bad of our current climate situation, climate crisis. We need a miracle. No, we don't need a miracle. We need collective action from all of us. It's, it, we don't have to wait for a miracle. We can all like do our bit. Blah, 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 blah. Next, WD-40. <laughs> is WD-40 a miracle worker? Tiny jug maybe for the WD-40? I mean, or like any other mechanical oil? I don't know. Is WD-40 like one of those things where it's like brand name has now replaced like the general name for what it is because it's such an iconic brand name? I don't know. But you know, this thing will stop your things being squeaky, sort out your bike gears, sort out your car engine. I'm saying this like I know what I'm talking about, but we have some WD-40 at home. It's very useful. There, I said it. Next. Oh, this one's the sesame oil. This one's going straight up into the Maccabees. I love sesame oil. Also, like, how did we get this far? Five oils in and we've only just hit cooking oils. But yes, I'm obsessed with sesame oil. It smells so good. Obsessed with food cooked in sesame oil. Like, I don't know, it just hits the spot for me. It really hits the spot. Next up, olive oil. I love olive oil. It's not a Maccabee level olive oil, but it's a tiny jerk. Like that shit is good for just cooking. It's good for salads. It's good for dipping bread in. It's good for other things. Versatile, we love it. We love olive oil. Also, I love olives. Olive oil doesn't taste like olives though. That's a shame. Although actually, would you want to like cook in like olive vinegar? I will drink olive vinegar though, so I'm not the best person to judge. Next up, coconut oil. For me, I think this goes in chocolate money. That might be controversial because I know there are probably some like coconut oil stands out there. I will pay for it. I will buy it. I don't particularly understand all of the things that you can do with it. When I was in my early 20s, I went through a phase of oil pulling with coconut oil, which is the thing with your teeth. Someone just said, that it helped make your teeth white. And then I ended up actually spending 500 quid at my dentist to do the chemically teeth whitener thing. Oops, Dan cooks with a lot of coconut oil. We have a massive pot of it. I don't think I've ever actually used it, but that is because Dan is the chef in our house. But he uses it in lots of things and you can put it in your hair, apparently. You can put it on your body. It's great, it's great. I'll spend money on it. I don't have a personal affection towards it. That's why it's not higher, sorry. Um, next up, extra virgin olive oil. Question, do I know the difference between olive oil and extra virgin olive oil? No, the only material difference in my head is that I will use olive oil just more regularly with cooking. An extra virgin olive oil seems to be like the more expensive special occasion, special purposes olive oil? I don't know. I think with extra virgin olive oil, I'm more likely to use a bit of that, some balsamic vinegar, mix it together, and then dip some bread into that. That is my main reference point for extra virgin olive oil. And so it's going in lacquers and donuts because 
it's good, but it's not for all the time, special occasions. Next up, we have baby oil. Once again, other brands are available. And I think I'm gonna put this in dreidel. We were given so many like baby bath lotions and potions products before Rowan was born. And they're all just sitting there, not really anything happening with them, mainly because midwives and health visitors have just been like, you don't need to shampoo your baby's hair. You don't need to like put anything really on their skin. Like their skin is really sensitive and like you don't actually have to be like adding anything to them, they're fine. And it might actually cause more harm than good. I am not a medical professional, I don't know, but Dan and I just like, we don't really feel the need to use any of that stuff with him, at least not yet. And so that's why it's going in dreidel because it's like, Ooh, you could spin a good roll, you could spin a bad roll, who knows, everybody is different, I don't know. <laughs> Luck of the draw. What have we got here? Oh, right, this is, okay, this is cod liver oil. Have I tried it? No. Am I suspicious of it? Yes. The words cod and liver and oil together don't make me very happy. These are like mostly come in vitamin like capsule forms. Wait, is cod liver oil the one that they tell you to like take to try and like induce labor? Like it's one of those like old wives tales. Either way, I'm just putting it in King Antiochus because it scares me and I'm, and I'm staying clear. I'm avoiding. Next up, vegetable oil. Now this one, I think is just straight into chocolate money because it's just like, it is what it is. I spend my money on it. It's fine. Use it in most of my cooking. Bish bash bosh. What else is there really to say about vegetable oil? Why did we think that this video would have any substance? <laughs> I'm having a great time. What's next? What's this one? Okay, so this is argan oil, which I didn't know anything about. Am I even pronouncing that properly? Not sure. I'm gonna try and get this right of what I recently <laughs> learned about argan oil. So goats will eat the berries from argan trees. Argan, argan, arg, argan, argan trees. And then they will poo out the seeds and then when they poo the berries or like whatever whole bit is like left over because it like comes out in their poo gets collected and turned into oil and it's meant to be great for you hair body that kind of vibe i'm personally just going to put it in dreidel that story does fascinate me about how it's made i'm sure it's great for some people like people just getting like straight gimmels for me it sounds like a shin for now or a shin slash nun these references, man. Learn dreidel. I have a whole video about dreidel from years ago on my other channel. Sounds great. I personally won't be spending any of my own money on argan oil, but that's because I just generally don't spend a lot of money on hair and body oils anyway. Next, oil-based lube. Now, shock horror, I don't think I've ever used oil-based lube. <gasps> we forgot massage oil. Too late for that now. <laughs> But let's, maybe let's combine oil-based lube and massage oil together. Let's just pretend that this is all one thing. Which in that case, it's going up in lacquers and donuts, the oil-based lube slash massage oil, because it's like, it's not for all the time, it's not for every day, special occasions. And also please don't use oil-based lubes with condoms because the oil will erode the condoms and break and you don't want that. If you're using a condom as some kind of like safer sex barrier, then that ain't gonna be safer sex with the oil involved. But that's why I've never really dabbled in oil-based lube because I've always been a condom gal, although not anymore. So maybe I should dabble in some oil-based lube. Oil-based oil lube. Oil-based? Oil based oil. I like oil based oil. Okay, next. Finally, we have CBD oil. Now this is another one that I have not tried. Slightly scares me. Think it might be a fad, maybe like on the cusp of woo woo, but also like cool. And I don't think I'm cool enough <laughs> to use CBD oil. Also like, can you use it if you're breastfeeding or pregnant? Also, is it like an essential oil or is it like a body oil or like all of the above? Unknown. I really just wanted to give you my actual <laughs> thoughts on all of these oils rather than like researching them. I do want to do a video at some point on my sex education channel of like trying different CBD products because there is so much out there in like the sexual wellness industry, like lubes, tampons, other things. So it's like fascinating to me, but it's not something I've tried and I'm a bit scared of it. Where would that put it? I mean, for some people it could be like tiny jug. Like it could be just like a miracle, a miracle oil for some people. Where would I put it? Would I spend money on it? I probably would. Like I'm gonna put it in chocolate money because I think if I was like gonna 
be like, okay, I'm gonna try this, I would spend money on it to see what the situation is. So there we have it. There are my rankings of lots of different oils. Do you agree or disagree? I'm just having a look to see if I like where this ended up. I'm a big fan that sesame oil is just like up top with the Maccabees. I'm happy. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this kickoff to Vlognica 2022. Make sure that you do subscribe because there is going to be a video tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day until there have been eight. I couldn't keep count. I think the last one is coming out either Christmas day or Boxing Day because Hanukkah and Christmas are overlapping this year. How exciting. I do hope that you enjoyed this very silly slash very important video. And I'm really curious to know where you would rank all of these different oils. No, I genuinely do want to know. Thank you for watching. Happy Hanukkah and I will see you in my next video. Bye!